Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Forever. I'm back to you guys from another video, man. We got another instance of sexual misconduct between students and the student body staff. This time, it's a coach, a football coach. <sighs> when is this going to stop? Look, we got a football coach charged at the reportedly bending over two 15-year-old female students and spanking them. Now, what possessed this guy to do that? That's crazy. Look, here's the guy, here's the coach right here. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and show his picture. There he is right there. I already know this. He he gonna do more jail time than any of the women that actually had sex with you know students. Oh, this, this is crazy. Well, in this instance, he didn't have sex with the students. He just slapped them on the ass, which is still bad. It's very inappropriate and everything. It's just like, bro, like, you, you're supposed to be a professional. This is supposed to be your job. Like, you're supposed to be coaching football. Parents are trusting you. Like what? What is going on at this point? I, like what? What is going on? I just I just made a video about a teacher in Oklahoma having sex with a student. Now we got a football coach inappropriately touching female students. This is not a good year for teachers, man. Twenty twenty two is the year of the teacher and them doing inappropriate things. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. This is like this is like the a hundredth time that I've seen some news reporting on some teachers or coach doing something inappropriate with kids. It's getting ridiculous out here, but let's get into it. According to according to court re uh, records, I think his name is uh, T. Eagle. T. Eagle. Yeah, his name is T. Eagle. 39 was charged with indecency with child sexual conduct an inappropriate relationship, uh, inappropriate relationship with a student on November fourteenth. <laughs> yo, oh, yo, I'm like, I'm laughing because I'm so tired of reading about these teachers, bro. It, it, it's it's, it's twenty twenty two is it, it's a crazy year, it's a weird year. Documents stated that uh, Teagle inappropriately touched two students. At the KDI, I think it's KDI ISD High School, both 15 year olds. The action started with inappropriate comments that later developed into inappropriate hugs and touching. But it's, it, it always starts off with the texting. You know, you got to text. You got to check the temperature of the students, bro, to make sure they down with the inappropriate behavior. That's first and foremost, bro. Yo, these these people, bro, if you think you're not going to get caught, like, you're you're stupid, bro, at this point. Like, you're stupid. Every Like, when I was in high school, bro, Everybody knew who was messing with everybody. Everybody knew who was dating who. Because the high school is so small. Plus, we're teenagers and we talk a lot, bro. Teenagers talk. Like, y'all y'all have to be the most stupidest people in the world that think y'all not going to get caught doing devious things with these students, bro. It's like, when are y'all going to learn, bro? Like, y'all came there to do a job not to fornicate with fucking students. Teenagers. Shit, you'll be better off doing that with the other teachers that work there, bro. Like, honestly, bro, go. If you want some young pussy, go to the college campus. That's legal pussy right there. 18, oh, 18 plus, bro. I'm not saying it's right. Shit, I mean, it's legal pussy, though. Like, come on now. Legal pussy, legal dick. Pause. Let's get back to it. Report said Tigo told both the girls... Not to tell anyone about what's going on. <laughs> bro, like, they not going to say nothing, bro. Like, come on now. Documents say at a later instance, Teagle pulled one of the girls onto his lap in an office at the high school. A few days later, Teagle reportedly took the two girls to a room and said he was going to spank them. That's some old head behavior right there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo. He then bent one of the girls over his lap, spanked her, then did the same thing to the other, bro. Bro, I wonder if it, I, I wonder if his I wonder if his team has a bad record, bro. He's so busy doing these inappropriate things to the minors students at the school. But what does your football record look like? Are you actually are you actually doing your job at the school instead of you know? you know, touching on these minors and harassing these minors and whatnot. And I'm going to say this, bro. Like, I'm not making an excuse or anything like that, bro. But mo most most girls when I was in high school, bro, they're like, they would mess they would mess with older men. I I'm going to keep it true, bro. I'm going to keep it true, bro. I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a story. I was a freshman in high school. I remember one day I had stayed at the school, right? And I was talking to this one girl. She she was a, she was a freshman too, right? And we we did, we was walking around the school and whatnot. You know, I'm flirting with her. You know, kissing on her and whatnot. You know, stuff that teenagers do. We walked to the front of the school because you know our rides about to pick us up. And she was like, "Oh, my boyfriend's coming to get me." I'm like, "Boyfriend?" She's like, "Yeah, I have a boyfriend." I was like, oh, okay. And I was he was I was like, yo, does he go to this school or whatnot? I'm like, in my head, I'm like, damn, like you got a boyfriend and you flirt with me. But that's besides the point. She was like, nah, he's in college. I'm like, college. So me and her, we just we sitting outside at the front of the school, right? And a car pull up. It was a Dodge Charger. Grown ass man opened the door, came rushing towards us, full beard, everything. I don't even think this is, bro, he didn't look like a college student to me at the time. He looked like a grown-ass man. But he came charging towards me. It's like, bro, like, why the fuck are you talking to my girlfriend? Why why are you here with my girlfriend? Da, 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 da. Trying to fight me over a 14-year-old girl. I'm like, nigga, you're a grown man. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? And like that be that be some of the that be some of the cases with some some um female um teenagers. You feel me? Like maybe dating older guys on the low low, or some of them like I remember like a lot of the girls my age they would they be they didn't talk to a lot of the guys at our school. Like they would talk to older guys. But that's besides the point. I was just giving a little example, like so like some of the behaviors of some teenage um women at some high schools and whatnot, but that's besides the point. Anything like it's still inappropriate for this teacher to be touching on kids and doing inappropriate things with kids and whatnot. That's that shit's not right. It is not right. And I'm tired of hearing about the shit, bro. I'm hearing about it every week. Every week. Every week. It's like I think these counties or these school boards or whatever, they need to evaluate these these teachers, coaches, whatever, any part of your staff, you need to mentally evaluate them. Check. I know they check background histories and whatnot. So that's how they, they're getting the jobs by passing the background histories. But there needs to be a mental evaluation done. Even though like some some might lie on the evaluation, still you still need to take precautions like so like this stuff that's happening between teachers and students, it'd be less and less. It'd be less and less or something like put cameras in classrooms or or like offices or something like that. Like most like most schools do have cameras, but people are not really checking cameras unless there's an incident going an incident going on, like a fight or something like that. Like shit be going down at the high schools, bro. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it like that, bro. Like shit like shit be going down, bro. Shit be going down and this it's, it's getting out of hand, bro. This is a coach, bro. It's supposed to be there coaching the boys on the football team. You're not supposed to be doing these inappropriate things with these high schoolers, whatnot. Nigga, get somebody your own age, bro. Get somebody your own age. Get some legal pussy. You, you could have went to a college campus or something. Could have coached at a college campus, even though that would be against regulations also, too. You're not supposed to be fun to get even though you're in college or whatnot. But... Get you some legal pussy, bro. Stop fucking with these young kids, bro. They're not going to school to be fucked with by grown men and grown women, bro. They there to learn, bro. They are there to learn, get their um, diploma, get the fuck up on out of there and go into the real world, bro. They're not there to fornicate with adults. God damn. Fuck.
like, comment, subscribe, like for the like for the algorithm, comment for the algorithm. You know, a like is free. Y'all sick of these teachers doing this thing, these things to these students? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, <laughs> it's your boy for Ivana. I'm out.